What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Today is Alabama State's round number seven. If you remember, in the last round, we saw James Miller playing his Night March deck. He did take down the Mirror Match in a round number seven. He is back on the stream one more time to see if he can make top cut. If he wins this game, he makes it into cut. Now, a lot of players did not want to be on stream because they did not they didn't want the added pressure of playing on stream and uh, you know get recorded. So I can understand that. So we do have James Miller, but if he does win this game, he does make it into cut. And let's see what happens. Can he make it a cut? We saw it last round. He take down the Night March Mirror Match. Uh, and let's see what happens this game. And if you give me a second, we'll see the player on the right and see what they're playing. All right, on the right, we have Heidi Craig playing her Trevenant Break Wabafed deck. Now, you saw Trevenant earlier in the series, I think, uh, round one. Yeah, exactly round one, we did see a Trevenant Break. But it is round number seven. If Trevenant can win this Night March match, it will make cut. And uh, the key thing is to note is it does play one Team Flare Gun. A Zerosic. It does play two Enhanced Hammers as well. Discard a Special Energy in play. Uh, team Flare Gun is off the active. Three Burst Balloon, but no Echo Arm. So once these Burst Balloons are gone, they are gone forever. And let's see what happens. Uh, she also plays a Headringer. And I guess the combination of Headringer and Team Flare Gun is enough to start uh, to stop the Shea Bay's looping. That's what I imagine. It's probably good enough to stop the Shea Bay loops. And to Judge as well to help with the Shaman loop. If you don't know, I mean Sky Return over and over and over again where Trevenant can't take a knockout. If Trevenant doesn't have an answer for the Shaman loop, they kind of just automatically lose. Uh, or maybe go to time just in case. But we'll see what happens. Is Night March going to win or is Trevenant Break going to win? Let's see what happens right now. All right, guys, here we go. Alabama State's round number seven. Like I said earlier, we have James on the left playing his Night March deck. And on the right, we have Heidi playing her Trevenant Break deck. And let's see what's going to happen. Is Night March going to take down the evil... Uh, is, is I guess Trevenant going to take down the evil Night March deck. I almost call Trevenant the evil deck, but that's because Trevenant is like scary Pokemon, so I call it evil. But everybody knows that Night March is the real evil deck. And let's see what's going to happen. Will we see Night March or Trevenant take the win? Will Heidi or James take the win as well? Uh, Heidi does have that really cool Mewtwo mat. I'm pretty sure that's a Memphis mat. Uh, I think a, lo a local Memphis player made that. But they received a coin flip. It is heads. And once again, James says have that Calvin and Hobbes uh, play mat. I'm like 99% sure that's a Calvin and Hobbes play mat. I don't know why I'm questioning myself. But I do think that's a Calvin and Hobbes play mat. But both players will set up. And this will come down to just Heidi get that turn one. Trevenant's own line. If he, if she does, then she'll be in a really good, uh, really good position to shut down James. Because, you know, making... Night March not play their item cards. It's probably the best thing you can do. And I wonder who's going first. I'm not 100% sure. They don't have a coin indicating who's going first. I know it was heads. And, I mean, if I was call, if I was going, I always call heads. So, I'd be going first. Uh, but let's see what's going to happen. Who do you want to win? Do you want Trevenant or do you want Night March to win? I mean, why would you want Night March to win? I'm just kidding. Night March is a good deck. I can't hate on it. Uh, but here we go. There's the handshake. And let's see what happens. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. And there is a Shaman Star and a Joltik. All right. So let's see. What does Heidi have? I see an Ultra Ball in her hand. Looks like she might discard a Mystery Energy and a Psychic Energy. Uh, so Mystery and Psychic Energy being discarded. We'll probably see a Phantom coming on down to join the party. But can Heidi get to turn one? Uh, Wally or not. There's a Fanta coming down. Okie dokie. And let's see what's going to happen. I did see a Sycamore in her hand. But I don't think... I mean, if she has to, then that's... You know, I mean, she'll take it if she if, the, if that's the only supporter card. Uh, but we see a Psychic Energy. We see a Dimension Valley. And we'll see a Sycamore going to discard her hand. John, seven new cards. And can she find a Flowstone? If she can find a Flowstone to wait to retreat to a Wobbuffet, that'd be really cool as well. We know James only plays the two Shaman, though. So it probably... Won't shut him down that much, but hey, it's, it's better than leaving the Shaman in the active spot. And let's see what that train as well gets Heidi. I'm not sure uh, what we're going to do. Uh, but let's see. She's thinking, trying to decide what to get off these four cards. She's looking at her hand to see what's up. And let's see what does she get. All right. Looks like she, she's still deciding. Uh, she does have a burst balloon in her hand, which we know she only plays three of. And there is a flowstone in her hand. So what she could do... Is Flowstone the Shaman retreat to a, a Phantom and put a Burst Balloon on it, saying, "Hey, if you're gonna Night March me, you're getting knocked out as well. So you will need the a license to get around this, or a um, or an Escape Rope. But I'm pretty sure James does play Escape Rope. I don't know why I can't remember right now. Um, but let's see, Heidi it does get the Flowstone or Burst. Uh, okay, she actually has a Burst Balloon to Shaman, 
and it'll probably just be a pass, most likely. And let's see. Uh, okay. Yep, we're going to see probably a pass onto James' turn. And let's see, can he find some Night Marches in the discard pile or not? That's the big question. We see a puzzle time. Going to rearrange top three cards of his deck. And I don't think any of those three cards are going to help him that much. He does have a shame in his hand and multiple Pumpkin Boots that he could put down. But I don't think putting down multiple Pumpkin Boots is the thing you want to do. We see a Pumpkin Boot, Pumpkin Boot, and a Pumpkin Boot coming down. And a shame a going to drop four cards. One, two, three, and four. Alrighty, and let's see, what does James have? Um, does he have, okay, there's a town map, gonna reveal his prize cards, there's a Sycamore, Sycamore, a Trainer's Mill, an Acrobike, looks like a Shaman and a Flowstone are in the prize cards, and does James, and no, we just see a pass, wow, so Burst Boot gets discarded, and on the Heidi's turn, she does have a Flowstone in her hand, so gonna Flowstone that Shaman, and if she can find a Trevnitz, uh, Burst Boot goes down to Phantom, a Trevnitz and a Psychic Energy, she could be, she could be in really, really good shape. She can put down the Trevenant, put down a Psych Energy, and use Tree Slam doing 60 and 20 20 um, to start putting some pressure on, on the board. But we see some Ultra Ball, we see another Ultra Ball, and I don't think her hand's that great either. Both players just having a bad time. We're going to see her treat into the Phantom. What she could do as well, oh, she has the VS Seeker. So she can Ultra Ball, discard an Ultra Ball, add it to Mitch Valley, and then uh, get a Trevenant. And then you use Sycamore, and then try to find another Psych Energy. Take a knockout, and saying, hey, if you're going to attack me with the Pumpkin Boo, that Burst Moon is going to knock out your Pumpkin Boo. So let's see, uh, she has an Enhanced Hammer as well, but no psych no DCs are on the field. And I imagine we'll see an Ultra Ball discarding an Enhanced Hammer. And maybe not. Hold on, wait. Okay, so she's actually just going to go for a Trevenant. Alright, so this is fine as well. And this, the reason why this is fine is because James doesn't have any Night Marches in his discard file. We know he has a Hex Maniac in his hand. I do see a Hex in his hand. I'm like 99% sure. But he has to find a, uh, a Bounce Presser and a DCE. So there's a DC, Psychic, Pumpkaboo, and something else. Oh, man. It's just, just, it looks like it was actually just nothing. So James just is having a horrible time. He is just not finding anything he wants. He's just having such a bad time. We see a Via Seeker for Hex Maniac. And we'll see another pass on the Heidi's turn. She does have an Ultra Ball. She can get down the Silent Fear Trevenant, and that's what we'll see. So will start using uh, Silent Fear, doing 30 everywhere. This is going to put a lot of pressure onto James' side of the field because Heidi could take <gasps> she could take four prize cards next turn. Oh my goodness. But we see a Shea Bay going to set up for six. She has a Headringer on that Shaman saying, hey, you're not going to Sky Return it. Psych like Energy to that Phantom. I think it's a fine play. And does she have another Trevenant in her hand? That's the big question. She has a Trainer's Mill, Ultra Ball, Dimension Valley, and a VS Seeker. She could Ultra Ball get another Trevenant. Um, let's see. Yep, Ultra Ball. I think discarding the Dimension Valley and the Trainer's Mill is fine. We know that James does not play any more, um, any more Stadium cards, so you really can't counter this Dimension Valley. It's going to stick there forever. Another Trevenant comes down, and it is not looking good for James. Oh, man, this is, is not going good. And we're going to see a, looks like a Sonic Fear. Oh, I think that Burst Balloon is attached from the last turn. Um, it should, I think that Burst Balloon might need to be discarded. Um, yeah, I think that's what they're talking about. Okay, maybe. Uh, they're trying to figure out what the Burst Balloon or not. Yeah, I think the Burst Balloon just forgot to be discarded. Uh, but yeah, that was from the last turn. When, uh, yeah. Yeah, we go. And that's fine. Uh, we see a VS Seeker for a Sick, and we're going to discard her hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see, what does Heidi get? Does, I mean, she has a Dimension Valley, looks like a Psychic Energy, and we're probably going to see Silent Fear doing 30 everywhere. Going to start spreading the damage, so 30, 30, 30, 30, knock out on the Joltik. So, yep, yeah. on a James turn, we see a Battle Compressor, we see a Hexmaniac, a Battle Compressor, going to discard three cards out of his deck, and if he does have another VS Seeker, he could grab that Sycamore for the next turn, but by then, Pumpkin, three Pokus will be knocked out, and James will go down to two prize cards. Oh, man, this is not looking good. VS Seeker for a Sycamore, and um, he shouldn't have been able to Sycamore. Uh, we'll just we'll just say he... Oh, man. We see an Acrobike. Okay, discarding a... Uh, uh, okay, okay. We'll see a Battle Presser. Oh, man, they they both forgot. I, I, I'm pretty sure he hexed his turn and then played Sycamore. I guess, Pete, I guess he just got so excited seeing that. Seeing, uh, just seeing, you know, the Sycamore. But, you know, mistakes do happen. That is okay. But we see another Battle Presser. And let's see what he decides to do. He could, it looks like he has Puzzle Times in his hand. Um, yeah, let's see what James decides to do. I'm kind of interesting. 
Oh man, I am sorry. I wasn't there to catch that um, double supporter. I mean, mistakes do happen. Both players did not catch it. But we see a battle press discarding a DC and two of the night marchers. We see double puzzle time getting a DC. And. Um, unless I miss something, yeah, I don't, I don't think he should be able to do this right now. But that's okay. We see a DC and a battle press are coming down. All right. And we'll see a battle press or discard three cards out of his deck. We'll see a Dimitch Valley. We'll see a... Hold on, wait for else. What else is going to be there? Um, we'll see what else he discards. So a Dimitch Valley, a Pumpkin Boo. And what's the third? So there's a Pumpkin Boo. Okay, okay. A Dimitch Valley. And... A Puzzle of Time. So maybe what he's going to do is double Puzzle of Time for two DCEs. And maybe a DC and another Puzzle of Time. I think that's what he's going to do. Uh, so those three cards go in the discard pile. We'll see double puzzle time maybe. Uh, he does have a DC in his hand. He has two fighting fear belts and two joltics. All right. Let's see what he decides to do. He could have fighting fear belt. There's a VS Seeker. Going to grab a Sycamore for the next turn. Okay. Uh, but I think it's a fighting fear belt. In the, uh, 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 yeah, that's a fighting fear belt. Two joltics and a DC. All right. So we'll see a DC going to the active. We'll see a fighting fear belt. And we'll see a Night March. Taking a knockout. That is, uh, I'm pretty sure that is plenty. They're going to count. Make sure. Oh, that is actually not a knockout. So there's actually not enough Night Marchers in the discard pile. Wow, that Trevenant is tanking a lot. So we see 150 damage. Come on to that Trevenant. And on the Heidi's turn, let's see what happens. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, 150 because that Fighting Fear Belt. There must be seven in the discard pile with the Fighting Fear Belt. He did have to bench two Bunkaboo, which is, which is not good. Uh, we see a Trevenant break coming down. And let's see, what else does Heidi have? We see a Wobbuffet, Mystery Energy, and we actually just see James. Looks like he can see it's the game. So I guess the double supporter doesn't really matter. Like I said, mistakes do happen. That's okay, though. Uh, but we see both players set up. It looks like James did see the game saying, hey, there's nothing I can really do. You're going to take two knockouts this turn, going down to three, put a lot of damage on that Shaman. I really can't do anything. So you see James kind of can see that game saying, hey, I can't do nothing. So that double supporter card, it doesn't really matter. Mistakes do happen, but hopefully it does not happen in game two or three. But we'll see what happens. And I imagine James is going to opt to go first. Just try to play as many training cards as he can. Um... Yeah, try to play out, discard out as many training cards as he can. And then it's going to come down to, does Heidi... I mean, she has a, you know, she can use the Stitch in turn one to get out the Trevenant, which is great. But if she can get down tr double Trevenant turn one, as in put down a Phantom Wally into the bench one and then use the Stitch for the active, get down two Trevenants, she'll be in a really, really good position. Looks like we see Heidi start with the Shaman, though, which is not who she really wants to start with. Uh, so Shaman and a Pumpkaboo, and let's see what James has. He has a Battle Compressor, he has multiple Joltics, and some Pumpkaboos. And we'll see a battle presser discard three cards out of his deck. And let's see what he decides to discard. Looks like he's going to discard a Lampet. Three Lampets are being discarded. Okay. Uh, we see a battle presser going to discard three more cards out of his deck. And let's see what he decides to discard. Uh, um, let's see. What will he discard? Looks like he's eyeballing the Joltics. I do think discarding the Joltics is the correct play. You really don't want to have those on the bench because they only have 30 HP. And within one Silent Fear, they will get knocked out. So we see a Battle Crystal discarding a Sycamore and two Lampets saying, Hey, I need this support card for my turn. And a Hex Maniac as well to shut down Heidi's um, Curse Force or Forest Curse, whatever the ability is called from trying to... We see a Ultra Ball maybe? Ultra Ball could discard two Pumpkin Boos to get out a... Um, or two Joltics get out of Pumpkaboo. Sorry about that. But yeah, two Joltics coming down. This could get out of Pumpkaboo. I imagine. Oh, look, he's going to get a Shaman. I don't know how much I like this play. Because if you put down Shamans, that's like a free EX prize card for Heidi later on. Uh, but we're, we're going to see a Shaman going to disc, or gonna set up for six. And I wonder what he's digging for. Um, we see a Acrobike. A battle Crescer and a Lysander coming to his hand. Looks like he's going to discard the Lysander to try to get enough Pokemon in the discard ball. He does have his last two D uh, battle Crescers in his hand as well. So we see an Ultra Ball discarding a battle Crescer. Then maybe a Psychic Energy. Looks like a Sycamore and a Mitch Valley are being discarded. Okay. And we see another Pokemon coming down. Okay. We see a battle Crescer going to discard three cards out of his deck. wonder why he's keeping the... Uh, the Psyche Energy in his hand. Maybe he wants to keep the Psyche Energy in his hand attached to the Shaman. And maybe that way he can use it as a free trader later on. I guess that seems fine. 
It's whatever though. Uh, Battle Professor, let's see what he just decides to discard. That's the big question. Um, what does he discard with the Battle Presser? Um, all right, all right. Let's see what he discards with the Battle Presser. Uh, maybe like Target Whistle, Megaphone, and then a Jirachi. Oh right, no, he's Ultra Balling right. Okay, nope, nope. He's he's using Battle Presser. I can't remember which one he's using. But looks like he's discarding a Jirachi. Target also in a Sycamore. I don't know if I like discarding the Sycamore. I think you want to try to keep as many supporter cards in your in your deck as you can. Um, but let's see what, what James decides to do. He hasn't played a supporter card yet. There's a Psychic Energy for a Sycamore. Go and discard his hand, draw seven new cards. I think there was already a Sycamore in there. If there wasn't, then I'm just silly. Uh, we see an Acrobike. Looks like a Joltik and a Dimension Valley. I would actually put that Dimension Valley in my hand, just in case Heidi does miss her Dimension Valley. You actually have an attack next turn. We see a, a Trainer's Mill. I mean, an Acrobike. Could probably get the VS Seeker. Actually, he discards the VS Seeker, but if he has Double Puzzle Time in his hand, yeah, Double Puzzle Time, that seems fine. And let's see what he gets. Maybe a Hex Maniac and a Sycamore? Um, that seems like two good cards. Or a Lysander. Yeah, he could Lysander or Shaman. Take a, pro a knockout next turn. Um, yeah, I do like to play a lot. Lysander and Hex Maniac come into his hand. And we'll probably just see a pass. He already attached his Psychic Energy to his turn. And let's see what he decides to do. Uh, let's see. He could retreat into a Shaman. He could retreat into a Jolted. But yeah, we're just going to see a pass on a Heidi's turn. Let's see what happens. Does she have a crazy turn one? Like I said, does she get down a Phantom, Wally, uh, another Phantom, and then Ascension into the other Trevenant, getting out two Trevenants. That's the best route she wants to go on her turn two. But let's see what she decides to do. She has a Dimension Valley. She has an Enhanced Hammer in her hand. It looks like she's contemplating an Ultra Ball. She does have Wally in her hand, so she has a part of the puzzle. But she is missing the other, she's missing the other Trevenant, I mean the other Phantom. Oh man, if she had both Phantoms, she would be A-OK. -okay. But let's see what this Ultra Ball is going to discard. Um, an Enhanced Hammer and a Mystery Energy? That's what it seems like it is. I could be wrong. Um, uh, I couldn't really tell what two cards were. worst. I, I mean, I think it's those two I said, but we'll see. And Heidi's probably going to get a, a Phantom. And with the Phantom, she might just, like, Wally into a Trevenant, and then maybe let the Shaman get knocked out. I'm not sure how much a fan I am of that, but, I mean, she really doesn't have that many options. Looks like we're going to see a Mystery Energy, so she actually saved the Mystery Energy. Going to put that on the Phantom, and we might see a, a Wally into the Trevenant. But if James can have a Lysander, he can Lysander that Trevenant, take a knockout. So we'll see a Wally. Going to get out the Trevenant. And if I was James, I would actually just license up this Trevenant if Heidi does not put another Phantom down. That makes it where she really can't attack you the following turn. And you're pretty much okay for two turns. So we'll see what happens. She's going to put the Trevenant down with the Mystery Energy. And we'll see. Does she just pass? I mean, I don't think she can really do anything else. I think the last card in her hand is a Sycamore. Uh, looks like a Sycamore, and I can't tell what the other card is. So I pass on to James' turn. Like I said, he could probably DCE Lysander, take a knockout on the Trevenant. We know he has a Dimension, Dimension Valley as well. Uh, so we see a Fighting Fubuck going to Pumpkaboom. We see a Dimension Valley. Okay, we see a DC on that Pumpkaboom. And like I said, I would Lysander up this Trevenant, take the knockout while you can, and make it where Heidi cannot attack you the following turn. Uh, we see a Night March taking, down, taking a prize card, and on the Heidi's turn. He promotes the Shaman. Go ahead and enhance Hammer. Discard the DC off the active. And we'll see a Sycamore. She's going to discard her hand. Draw seven new cards. But can she find another Pokemon or not to put down? That is the big question. Uh, we see a Trainer's Mill. Look at the top four cards of her deck. And let's see what she decides to get. Uh, does she find an Ultra Ball? I don't... S I think there's an Ultra Ball in her hand. Oh, no, that's... An, uh, I can't tell what that is, really. Um... Uh, Okay, we'll see. Maybe a Burst Balloon? Yeah, she's going to grab the Burst Balloon, put it on the active. But if she does not put down another Pokemon, James just can just Night March to win the game if he can find a DCE. That's the big question. Can he find a DC or not? Heidi shuffling up, and let's see what's going to happen. Can James find a DC, take a knockout on the Shaman? We see maybe another... Oh, okay, I thought another Trainer's Mode coming down. But do we just see a pass from, from Heidi? This would not be good. A Sycamore has been played already. And, yeah, that looks like it's just going to be passed on to James' turn. And he does have a DCE, and he will use uh, Night March for the knockout. I'm like 99% sure. And, wow, that was an uneventful game number two. Heidi just didn't get set up. I mean, just put down the one Phantom was probably uh, 
I mean, she really didn't have a choice. Like, that's probably her best option. But we knew that James had the Lysander in his hand when he used Puzzle Time to reveal a, a uh, Hex Maniac and a Lysander. So we'll see what happens on a game number three. I imagine Heidi will go first, but can she find a turn one Wally? She did have it last game, but she sadly had a Shaman in the active spot. Like I said before, if she did have a, uh, a Phantom in the active spot, she would have been okay. Because she would Ulch Ball, got another Phantom, Wally into the Trevenant, had two Trevenants out turn number one. And that would probably destroy, not destroyed, but it would have put James in a weird position for sure. But here we go, on to game number, or game number three. I almost said game number two, but this is game number three. And let's see what's going to happen. Do you want to see Night March or do you want to see Trevenant break, take the win? I, I you know, I want to see Trevenant break win. You know, I like this deck a lot. It is cool. Going to lock your opponent out of item cards is a very, very neat concept while spreading the, the damage with the Trevenant with Sonic Fear. But here we go. Both players are set up. Can Heidi find the turn one uh, Trevenant or not? That's the big question. And uh, we might see... Okay. Oh, a Shave A star for Heidi once again. That is not good. All right. So we'll see what happens. It looks like James did find a... Yeah, he found a Joltik, and that is not good for a Heidi. Now, can she find a... a Oh uh, man, it does not look like she has, she has the turn one right now. All right, but let's see what Heidi decides to do. We we'll see a plus note going on to the active. Okay, and we might see a judge. Oh man, this is not going to be good. If Heidi cannot find another Pokemon, James can easily win this game. Oh no, we'll see a judge going to put both players out four cards. Hopefully, Heidi can find like two Phantoms and a Sycamore. If she can do that, she might be okay. But oh man, it is not looking good. I mean, Night March plays so many things. They play Acrobike, Ultra Ball, Trainers Mel, Shebae's. And let's see what the four cards gives Heidi. Does she find another Pokemon or not? That's the big question. Uh, we see a Trainers Mel in her hand. And yeah, we'll see a Trainers Mel. Can she find an Ultra Ball to search out a Pokemon or not? Oh, man. But, I mean, oh, man. It doesn't look like James's hand is good either. Well, we see a DCE, VS Seeker, something else, something else. Uh, we see an Ultra Ball discarding two cards. Looks like a... Not sure what those two were. But a Phantom does come down. Okay, good. Heidi does have a Phantom. And she also has a Shaman in her hand. I did see that as well. So, Shaman... I mean, Heidi could... Shaman set up... Yeah, that'd be an awesome four cards. Ultra Ball, two cards. And then Shaman setting up for six. So, that's a pretty good four cards for a Judge. Wow. Alright. Alright. So, six... Uh, seven cards... Six cards come into her hand. Sorry. And let's see what she decides to do. Can she get another Phantom down? If she can do another Phantom, then what she can do is retreat to one of the Phantoms, let it get knocked out, and then you should be okay to have two Phantoms, or two, a turn it later on. But we see a Slack Energy Attachment. We see a Trainer Smell. Look at the top four cards of her deck. And what does she decide to get? Uh, she's contemplating, what do I do? What do I get? And it looks like we might see, oh, an Enhanced Tamer could be spicy. Uh, Sycamore is in her hand as well. I think grabbing Sycamore would be fine because she has a VS Seeker in her hand, but she really doesn't want a VS Seeker for a judge unless she really has to, but then she still has the the option later on to judge with that VS Seeker in her hand. So I think grabbing the Sycamore would be the correct play because you still have the option next turn to judge or Sycamore. And let's see what she decides to do. Uh, she could grab the Enhanced Hammer, but I don't know how good that is. Um, she's debating what to do. She has an Ultra Ball as well. And I think Ultra Balling for another Phantom would be a good play as well. And let's see what Heidi decides to do. She could grab a Sycamore and then Ultra Ball away the Sycamore, making her a VS Seeker. Could be both of those cards. So yeah, there's a Sycamore coming to her hand. And let's see, does she go for the Ultra Ball or not to get another Phantom down? I, I personally like that play, getting two Phantoms down and then retreating to one and just passing. So that way you don't give up two prize cards if you can. Uh, looks like we might see a Shaman set up, though. Looks like we see a Shaman set up for two. One and two. And let's see. What does she find? Uh, we're going to see a pass. All right. So on a James turn, let's see what happens. We see a Battle Presser. And this is not going to look good for Heidi. He is going to discard probably two Night Marchers and a Sycamore. Oh, three Night Marchers. That means he has a Sycamore. Oh, he does have a Sycamore in his hand. Oh, man. So this is not good for Heidi. He's going to put a DCT active. He's going to use Night March and going to knock out the Shaman turn one. Going down to four prize cards. Oh, buddy. Uh, so two, three Lampets being discarded. 
We'll see a DC to the active, and we'll see a Sycamore going to discard his hand, draw seven new cards. So both, both players had a great judge. Like, off those four cards, they both got stuff they wanted. But let's see, Can James finding the Pokemon. We see an Acrobike. Uh, looks like a Pumpkaboo and something else. Okay. Uh, and let's see, he's going to play a, um, a Battle Compressor. Going to discard three cards out of his deck. Um, let's see. So Battle Compressor, going to discard three cards out of his deck. Let's see if he discards a Joltik. A uh wait for it. Let's see what else he discards. He needs to find another Night Marcher, that's for sure. Uh, they can put down another Night Marcher, he'll be A okay as well. But it looks like double Joltic and a Lysander are being discarded. He does have another Joltic in his hand, but a Silent Fear could knock that out the following turn. But I really don't think Heidi can get down a, a Silent Fear Trevenant. She can though. She can evolve into a Trevenant manually and then Use Wally into a break, so that could be a possibility. But we see two Joltics and a Lysander being discarded, and let's see what he decides to do. He does have a Shaman in his hand. He needs to put down another Pokemon. There's a Joltic coming down. We see a. Let's see what card that is. Looks like a Dimension Valley will come online. It falls onto that Joltic, and we see a Shaman setting up first six. Alrighty. And let's see what happens. He does have a Megaphone. I don't know how that, how good that is right now. But he could play that just to get it out of his hand, which doesn't seem like a bad play at all. A Fighting Fear Belt City active. Give that Joltik 70 HP instead of the 30. And does he play the, the, the Megaphone or not right now? Uh, I mean, why not? We'll see a Puzzle Time. He can rearrange, rearrange top three cards of his deck. Um, let's see what he decides to do. I mean, I think you want to play all, as many item cards as you can right now. But let's see. He does have a Hex Maniac as well. So yeah, we're going to see a Night March. Uh, doing uh, that is plenty. Chainman is weak to lightning, so that'd be a knockout. There's at least one, two, three, four, five, six. So 240. And on the Heidi's turn, we see a Fanta coming down. We see a Trevenant. And does she have the Wally? If she has the Wally, that would be fantastic. I don't see one in her hand as of right now. I see like a Team Flare Gun, VS Seeker, um, a Sycamore. Fighting Fear Bump gives it 70 HP instead of 30. So. She could Tree Slam. No, Tree Slam doesn't take a knockout either. Tree Slam only do 60, 20, 20. Oh, no. This is not looking good for Heidi. She's in a weird uh, weird situation right now. But can she find a Wally or not? There's an Ultra Ball, Lysander, Ultra Ball, Sycamore, and a VS Seeker. So those are cards she really does not want. Uh, but let's see what she decides to do. Looks like she is going to maybe VS Seeker? No, Ultra Ball. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. She's already played all of her shamans, so she can't ult ball for a shaman. They've all three have been played on turn number one or turn number was it turn number one? Yeah, turn number one. So let's see. Uh, Heidi could discard like an ult ball, ult ball, and something else. Uh, but I don't know what she'll get. Maybe a phantom, maybe a wally. I'm not a wally, a wobbuffet if she has the one in her deck. Uh, but let's see what she decides to do. She does have the the, the trevenant on, on turn number two, which is good. That's great. Um, let's see. So let's see what Heidi decides to do. She has a Team Flare Grunt as well. I don't know how hopeful that's going to be. Uh, maybe Team Flare Grunt discard the DCE and hope he doesn't hit another DCE. That could be a play. Uh, but he has a Lysander in his hand. So I don't know. I think he has. No, the Lysander is in the discard ball. So he can't Lysander for. Uh, he can't Lysander next turn. So let's see what Heidi decides to do. We might see an Ultra Ball getting out of Phantom, like I said. All right, let's see what will happen. We're just waiting to see. Uh, will we see a Team Flare Grunt? Will we see a, uh, a pass? Will we see an Ultra Ball for another Phantom? There's a lot of options that Heidi could do. She's just trying to make sure to make the correct play. Um, wait for it. She has a Sycamore as well. Okay, she could Sycamore. But if she's going to Sycamore, she needs the Ultra Ball to get another Phantom out. I think that, you know, that's like 99% sure. But yeah, we'll see an Ultra Ball. They'll probably get out another Phantom. Or Wally, either one. I mean, not Wally, a Wobbuffet. Um, either one could be fine. We'll see what she decides to get. Looks like another Phantom will come online. But, oh man, this, this turn is probably getting knocked out, um, next turn. If there's five Night Marches in the discard pile, this will do 100. Oh, the Team Flare Ground. Ooh, I do like this play. We're going spicy right now. So we're going to discard the DC and then we'll see a pass on a James turn. But he does have another DC in his hand. So this is not going to go good for Heidi. Alright, so we're going to see a DC. He could play a Lysander. Oh, nope. Lysander is in this discard pile one more time. Josh, remember? The Lysander in the discard pile. All right. So, we see uh, a DC. Oh, Hex Maniac. Gonna shut down. Uh, gonna shut down abilities. Okay. We see Double Puzzle of Time. 
And let's see what he decides to get out. Maybe a, okay, a Pumpkin Boo and, nope, a DCE and, uh, maybe a Lysander? Um, let's see what he decides to get. He's de deciding on the second card. He, know for sh he knows for sure he wants a DCE. Uh, he could get a DC and a Hex Maniac. Uh, looks like a Pumpkaboo will come down, though. Um, I think putting the Pumpkaboo Pumpka down, Pumpka down is fine. We'll see a DC to the active. And we'll see a Night March. I think there's five Pokemon in the discard pile. And then with the Fighting Fear Belt, 110, which is a knockout. Yeah, yeah, there's five in the Fighting Fear Belt. Yeah, so that's an exact knockout. So on a Heidi's turn, it is not looking good for her. There's a Psych Energy to the active. We see a Sycamore. Go ahead and discard her hand, draw seven new cards. I would actually put the Psychic Energy on the bench, Tremnitz, um, because if you get a Tremnitz out, or, uh, on the bench, Phantom, because if you get a Tremnitz out this turn, she can't attack. Like, Tremnitz needs a Psychic and two Color Synergy, so there's no way it's going to attack this turn. We see a Terrain Smell, and let's see what she decides to get. Um, she's debating what to get off these four cards. Um, let's see. Heidi's looking at her hand to see what's all in there. Okay, okay. And we see a trainer's... Oh, wait for it. Uh, she's deciding what to do. But, I mean, Heidi's in a bad like bad shape anyway. Like, he's going to Nightmare, Shake a Knockout, have another DC in his hand, go down to two prize cards, and then he can just license up a shame to win the game. So, right now, James has the game on board. Heidi will need to judge to disrupt, his, uh, disrupt her opponent just a little bit. Uh, but let's see what she gets off those four cards. There's a Zerosic. A Sycamore, a Wally, and a Mystery Energy. So it looks like we're going to see a Zerosic going into her hand. Uh, maybe discard a DCE. Trying to make it where James can't have any more energy cards. But Heidi does not have a... Tr okay, this is trying to break. I'll turn it to the bench. Okay. And we're going to see an Ascension this turn. Going to get a it as well. So she will get two Tremnets out. Which is great. So what she can do next turn is if she can top deck a Tremnet break, she could... Oh, she has a... I don't know, she doesn't have the wall anymore. Um, so she's going to get out the Trevenant Break. Okay, she's going to get out the Trevenant. And then what she can do next turn is get out the Trevenant Break. And then play the Zerosic to get rid of that Fighting Fear Belt. And that can put, you know, knock out that Joltik for sure. But, I mean, James is such in a powerful position right now. I mean, he's going he's gonna to Night March. Knock out the Trevenant. He could actually... I think No, I think just knocking out the Trevenant is the best play. And the Lysander of the Shaman for your last prize card is the best um, play. If there's a Lysander in his hand, i wait. Once again, Josh, there's not a Lysander in his hand. Why do you keep saying there is? Uh, we're gonna see a, a, a Pumpkaboo, a DC come down. We might see a Shaman setting up. Oh, no, never mind. Just Sycamore going to discard his hand, draw seven new cards. But I'm pretty sure he's out of Sycamore. So, things are gonna get interesting here in a couple of turns. Um, we're gonna see a Night March do it 110. That will knock out this, oh no, 130. And 50 now, if I remember correctly, there should be seven in the discard pile because he discarded two. Unless I do my math wrong. So we see a Night March taking a knockout. Uh, James goes down to two prize cards on a Heidi's turn. Does she find a Trevenant Break and a Psychic Energy? She needs a Trevenant Break, a Psychic Energy, and a uh, a Zerosic at the same time to knock out the Joltic. Which might be fairly hard to do. Uh, but let's see what Heidi decides to do. She does have a Zerosic. She has a Wally as well. She could maybe Zerosic pop the DC off the active. But I see James having a DC in his hand. So he'll just be able to retaliate for a knockout. Oh, so that, that's, it's not looking good for Heidi. Like, it is it is not looking good. Uh, but let's see what she decides to do. Um, she has a Judge in her hand. She could play Judge. But let's take her to see a Sycamore. Go and discard her hand. Draw seven new cards. She needs to find a Trevenant Break. So there's a break coming down. We see a Psychic Energy as well. She, she will be able to use Silent Fear and a Burst Balloon as well. But she, can she find it in the Phantom or not? There's already three in the discard pile. Maybe one, two, and uh, there's another Tremnitz. I thought there was three. A Psychic Energy, a Psychic Energy. All right. So it looks like there's only two Phantoms in the discard pile. Um, yeah, two Phantoms and three Tremnitz. Uh, but can she get another Phantom down or not? That's the big question. Um, she might be contemplating using Super Rod. Yeah, there's a Super Rod. I think with Super Rod, you shuffle in a Tremnitz, a Phantom, and a Psychic Energy. Maybe a Shaman. Uh, looks like she's going to go for a Phantom and two Tremnitz. I mean, it's finding the way. I mean, 
She's she's got to get a phantom down this turn. She does not get a phantom down this turn. She is going to be in trouble because what can happen is James can take a knockout on these active, and then Heidi can't retaliate. She can't really you know take it. She can't even attack regardless um, unless she finds a Wally and a Trevor in the same turn with the psychic energy for the following turn. Uh, but let's see what she decides to do. She has a headringer going to Shebe, and can she find another phantom or not? That's the big question. And we're, looks like we're just going to see a Silent Fear doing 30 everywhere. She will take a prize card on that Joltik, though. It only has 30 HP. But, uh, let's see what she does. Um, yep, we'll see Silent Fear doing 30 everywhere. Going to knock out that Joltik and put 30 on all across the board. So 30 on Pumpkin Boo, Pumpkin Boo, Shaman, and the uh, active Joltik. And on a James turn, I mean, he could just maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, DC the sh uh, Psychic Energy the Shaman, and we'll see a Night March taking a knockout. The Joltik will get knocked out as well, but James pretty much has the game on, on board next turn. Um, I think I think what happens here is okay. So they're trying to decide what what's the correct ruling. I think James takes his price card. I know Heidi promotes her, uh, Heidi promotes. I think James takes his price card and then he promotes. I think that's what the the way this the order goes. I think that's what they're deciding right now. Um, but I mean, James has pretty much the game. He has the DC in his hand or DC on board. There's no real way this Pokemon is getting knocked out. Uh, Heidi does not play DC, so she really can't, you know, uh, Sky Return unless she used a Zerosic to pop that DC off. Then that make, could make things kind of weird. I think they're deciding what the what the way the, this is working, how this how the uh, promoting of the situation happens. But I think Heidi pros the Shaman. And then James takes his prize card. And then he promotes. I think that's what happens. Uh, I could be wrong though. Uh, we see a, a Pokemon coming up. And okay, then he takes his prize cards. Okay, I guess they promote first and then take their prize cards. I don't think it really matters regardless. Uh, but on a Heidi's turn, she has a VS Seeker. So she could go for the Xerxes play like I said. To try to put some kind of hope in her eyes. But I see a DC in his hand. That's not going to work. Um... She needs to somehow play like an enhanced hammer, but I think her only enhanced hammer has been played already, so that's not good. James only has one price card left. Oh man, things are not looking good for for Heidi. Uh, we see a flowstone to the active. We we'll see a burst on the bench, and we'll see a sycamore gun discard her hand, draw seven new cards, and let's see what does Heidi find. Oh man, I don't I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I do see an enhanced hammer in her hand, so she has to play the enhanced hammer. So there's an enhanced hammer discard the DCE, but I'm like there's another DC in his hand. He pretty much has this game. Like there's nothing Heidi can do um, to to not let this happen. Uh, so you retreat to the shaman, and we'll see a pass on a James turn. He'll touch DC and he'll night march for the game. So there we go. We see night march take down the Trevenant deck. Wow, there's a lot of item cards in James's hand. But there we go. James takes the game. He will advance to top eight. Heidi was so close playing her Trevenant break deck, but she kind of just had a bad start that game. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And we'll see you in top eight of Alabama States. Alrighty.